Hi guys, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of K at MRD Radio Stuff. Uh, I just got a comment on uh, the channel about charging, and uh, someone asked, uh, Michael Baker, K8MGB, asked if I would show a video just kind of using the charger, how I set it, and all that kind of stuff. So, since we've been talking about batteries in the last couple of videos, I figure I guess it kind of makes sense to talk about charging. So stay tuned, and we'll dive in a little bit to this high-tech charger and see what it does. So here is just kind of a close-up look of the charger. There's a couple different ports. You can hook this one up if you just had, if you wanted to uh, specifically wire your battery to have a certain type of plug, uh, this port right here would be uh, kind of how you could get around having a BMS, I suppose. I, I don't think I'd really do that, do it that way, but uh, you could. On the back is just a, an AC in, there's also a DC in. And uh, that's about it. So I use these plugs and it, it came with this, uh, what the heck are these, little banana plugs that had on the other end, of course, we cut off whatever's not a power pole and put powers on it, power poles on it. I think it's called a Dean's connector maybe. It's, it's whatever that is, that's what it came with. So of course we put power poles on it and we simply plug that into there and then we plug this into our battery. So there's no power uh, switch on this, so you just gotta plug it in. So it comes up with this warning, you hit the start button to get out of that. And now you can cycle through, so the neat thing is, so you can see program select one, you can have different types of batteries on here that you can program in, uh, however many cells and whatnot for different voltages, but um, so I have, it's on life, lithium iron, uh, and it's battery four cell. You can change all this stuff. So just by hitting the start, you can arrow down so you can cycle through the, you know, the different types of batteries. If you have, you know, something other than lithium iron phosphate, the cells, we're running four cells for 12 volts. So you want to have that on 4S mode we want to charge it if you wanted to discharge it or fast charge uh, you could do that but fast charge I've, I've never used that I just up the amperage if I want to charge it faster current I charge them at one amp if I want to charge it faster I can I think it'll go all the way up to six amps if I'm not mistaken let's find out yeah so anywhere from 0.1 to six amps of current you can put into it. I just want one. And then everything else you can just leave alone. Uh, well, no, I take that back. Target current, 3.6 volts. You could actually boost that up to 3.65. And because we have the BMS, it's gonna monitor all of those cells so once this thing hits 3.65, it's actually gonna go up to 14 uh, plus volts before it cuts off. But that's the target voltage between 3.6 and 3.65 um, is where you wanna charge these things and cut off voltage, I don't worry about that. So with the BioNO, it has two different plugs. Now I've found that you can actually charge on either one of these. This is the original charging cable that came with the BioNO. Of course, I cut that, put power poles on it. Um, I found that my BioNO charger doesn't seem to work. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but it does not charge. So I can do one of two things. I can go from the output here, plug my power poles in, and then I can plug in this barrel connector. So right now it's not charging. Hold in the start button for a second. It does a battery check. So if something's wired wrong or it's not right, it'll say, and error, not gonna work. Hit charge again. Now it's charging. You'll see the, the time, and we'll also see the current go up here in a second. And you also see the voltage rise. Now this battery's pretty well charged, so it's not gonna really 
do much for long, but you get the idea. And that'll stop because we have it set at 1 amp. It'll stop at 1 amp. And there we go. To stop it, just hit stop. Now it's not charging. Done and done. Simple. I can also use this power pole pigtail. Again, plug in here. We can plug directly into this if we want to charge. So that's plugged into what I thought initially was the output, but they're, they're really, they have to just be soldered to the same spot on the BMS. So currently not charging, hit start, whoops, hold in start. It's checking, everything is good. Charging, so now we're putting current into the battery from the power poles on the BioNO. And there goes the current. Now here is my headway battery that we built. These are Headway 38120S cells, 10 amp hours. And this, this is the BMS. So inside the bio, and I, I can't take a look at it. I don't know if they're cylindrical cells. I don't know if they're more like the, the pack type cells, if that makes sense. But both of these leads have to be connected to that. I, there's, there's really no other way I can think of how that's wired. So this is the output and the input that sends all the current through and blah, blah, blah. So to charge this battery, same exact process. Plug in our power poles, same configuration because they're all 12 volt lithium iron phosphates are all four cells. So again, we hit hold down the start button, battery check, things are good. Hit start, now it's charging. This one will take up to a 10 amp hour charge, where the BioNO they recommend between 2 and uh, 6 amp hours. So there again, current is rising. When this voltage gets to 14.6, this thing will cut off. And as, as the battery gets charged, the amperage here will slowly go down to a trickle and then You'll hear that same noise when we started it up. That will be the indication that it has stopped charging. And that's it. That's charging of lithium iron phosphate batteries. So that's it. Short, sweet, simple. Um, just kind of wanted to show how to set that charger specifically for lithium iron phosphate. Different batteries obviously uh, we're going to have different ways of setting it, but really easy. I like the charger a lot. I like that it has the LCD readout that you can see the voltage, the amperage that's going into it. I like the timer on it so I can see uh, how many amp hours have actually gone into the battery. So I can kind of compare that uh, to, to my usage from my meter that I use when I'm out and just kind of you know, see the state of the battery. So, all right, guys, until next time, uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, share it, like it, do all that stuff. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. K&MRD Radio Stuff.